Who are the two hottest hitters in Major League Baseball right now? Joey Votto and Josh Hamilton. Today we have a special guest. Coach Jay Sword coached both of those guys in the minor leagues, was also my college coach. Coach, we got to ask you, what was it like coaching two MVPs and Hamilton and Votto? Well, first, thanks for having me on. And, uh, you know, I had a chance to have both those guys at different times. And, and I had Votto quite a bit more. I had a chance to have Votto on rookie ball and then again in AAA. So I got a chance to see his development from a young guy to an older guy. And, and then Josh Hamilton was more of a guy when he would come down on big league rehab and some things like that. And, Honestly, you know, both those guys actually played on the same team in Louisville at times along with Shane Bruce. So what what a pleasure for a coach to get a chance to, to see both those guys or all three of those guys on the same club. Um, you know, I mean, they're MVPs. What, what is something maybe you remember, a story uh, that made those two guys successful? Sure. Well, I think two, those two guys are different in, in the fact, you know, I think Josh Hamilton for me is probably the most talented player I've ever seen. He's a true five to a player. And, and uh, he's a great guy. Uh, and then as far as Joey Votto, obviously another great, talented player. But, you know, Joey was, has a great attention to detail, especially on the offensive end. And he had that even as a young, at a young age. And one thing about Joey is that, you know, he was not afraid to fail. If he knew that it was going to make him better in the big leagues, he was not afraid to fail a little bit in the minor leagues to, to get to that next step. And I think that's one of the things that made him very special. Uh, so, Coach, I mean, you played pro baseball. You're drafted by the Reds. Um, you know, for you personally, what did it take, you think, for you to get to that level? Well, you know, for me, I, I don't think I was ever the best player on any team that I ever played on from grade school all the way through college. And, and I got better each level. And uh, part of that was because I really believed in my abilities. And, and I was more of a grinder type guy. And that was my personality. So, um, I think for me, it was just a lot of persistence, a lot of hard work, and a lot of belief in my own abilities. Uh, I mean, you've coached a lot of great, you know, several guys that are in the major leagues right now, you know, hundreds of that are in the minor leagues. I remember you talking about, you know, seeing Pujols in the minor leagues. You know, what are one common theme among all those guys? Goodness. Well, I don't know if there's just one, but, you know, they all uh, work hard and they all have a passion for their craft. And, uh, you know, it takes a very special person, a very talented person not to work hard and make it. And, uh, all these guys are great players, but they're, they're huge on attention to detail, and they're always looking to get better, no matter, they're never satisfied. So lastly, what's one piece of advice you have uh, for anybody that's trying to get better and, uh, you know, go out and do something? Uh, You've you got to believe in yourself. You have to be a good, look, you're going to have doubters. Uh, there are going to be people that are going to say to you, you can't do something. You have to believe in yourself, and then once you believe in yourself and you have that passion for what you want to do, You've got to work hard every day to achieve it. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for coming on today. Guys, thanks for watching this episode of Get Better TV.